Hola. Hola, bienvenidos a Lightspeed Spanish. Bienvenidos. Today it's extremely hot. It's 40 degrees up here and we are very, very hot. So if you see us sweating, you know why. Yeah. This week we have a suggestion from... I'm going to make myself... A fan. A fan. You make yourself a fan. Uh, you've got lots of fans there. <laughs> <laughs> One more. <laughs> We've got a suggestion from Yasin Khan. Hola, Yasin. Hola, Yasin. And Yasin has said, can we get a video on Spanish slang? Yes, we can. Not only are we going to do Spanish slang today, but we are also going to cover the key swear words, okay? This is going to be very quick fire. You're going to hear really the top, the top slang words and the top swear words here in Spain, okay? Bien. If you are of, um, what's the expression? Let's do the, the advert. No, it doesn't work with your What's hair. With this the... one is your hair just go like that. <laughs> Please, this is an this will be an adult uh, lesson. Adult content. Adult content. If you are um, of a nervous nature, but you, you know, have to you have to specify, like violence, nudity. Yeah. Swearing. Okay, this what, what, what's uh, no be? violence, no nudity. <laughs> I mean, well, it's getting hot. I mean, anyway, I could take my tap off, taps off, or uh, it'll only be swearing. Okay, only, swearing. only be swearing. Right, and so got this. A sixteen. Eh? A sixteen or eighteen? I, I have no idea what the rules 18? are now. It'll probably be about a thirteen. A twelve. A thir- yeah, a thir- 12, 12, <laughs> nine. Okay, chicos, with with parental consent. Yeah. Entonces no nos vemos en la segunda parte, longest introduction in the world. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Cynthia, we're well, going to start with um, we're going to start with slang. Okay, I'm going to give you the slang. You tell me uh, ways that we would use it typically here in Spain. So, la caña. Eh, eres la caña. Eres la caña de España. Eres la leche. You're the dog's bollocks. Uh-huh. La caña, so the, is that referring to the cane or a drink? No drink? idea. La caña, okay. No idea, so eres a, la caña. A little uh, beer is a caña as well. So eres la caña, eres so la you can caña. say eres la caña. Right, because this is adult, so we're just going to move it a little bit forward. Cynthia said eres la caña. De España, ¿no? Es la caña de España. Sí. Ok, I've also had, heard, eres la polla con cebolla, ¿no? Eres... <laughs> you can't say that, you're not Spanish. I've you heard can't. it. Yeah, you, you, you can hear it, but you can't say it. All right, so... You have so, to be Spanish to say that. So both of those count, you but obviously, you know, like la caña. You're English, for God's sake. I know, but I've heard it. You've said yeah, it. You've heard it. it. You've said it to Eres me. la polla, eres la polla, yes, you can say... I don't say that. I don't really say that, eres la polla. When did I every say that Every now and again. Last? Understand that. Every, every now and again. Every swear okay, word that every... comes up here, Cynthia said to me. Every swear word. Not at, directed at me, but I've been present. Right, okay. okay. Of course, in my lifetime, I will have said, eres la polla, o es la polla. But it's not something that I regularly say. It's no. No, of course not. But it's there. It's there. Okay, next one. Que chulo. Que chulo. I said that. You see. Que chulo. Um, que chulo. Que guapo as well. So, so for a, example, if we're talking about, I don't know, our phones, you buy yourself a new phone, okay, a new mobile phone, and you can say, oh, que chulo, or que guapo el teléfono. Uh-huh. Que guapo. Que chulo. So it's when you que see chulo. something nice that you, that you go, whoa, how lovely. Que chulo. Que yeah, chulo. Que chulo. Could also, if you're referring to someone, it could mean he's very cocky. Ah. Like, que chulo es ese tío. O que chula es ella. She's ah. very cocky. But would you qualify it, with es él or, or es ella? Yeah, but if you're talking about something que es muy chulo, uh, it, it's, uh, it means that it's it's cool. Okay. Cool, you say? Cool, yeah. Because un chulo is a, a pimp, is it not? And also un chulo... Uh, it's a pimp, yeah. A pimp, yeah. Okay, uh, so let's do another K. Yeah. K, this is very popular. Que fuerte. Que fuerte, tía. Que fuerte. Que fuerte lo que te tengo que contar. 
Qué fuerte. Uh, it's like, it could be various things. It could be, it's something that shocks you. Yeah. And you go, oh, honestly, I can't believe that. Like, oh my God. Something like that. Yeah. In that, in that sense. Um, if somebody does something that that upsets you, you can always say, qué fuerte, qué or you fuerte, hear, que me digas eso, no? Yeah, or something that you hear, don't know, in a conversation, you, you stop and you go, qué fuerte, like, honestly. Yeah, that's that's the limit, that's too much, yeah. I always struggle to find something in English, because in English yeah. you tend to use the same ones, I think we have a bigger repertoire. Yeah, yeah, of, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Right, what about this one? This one, I like this one. Um, okay. Uh, me importa un pimiento. Me importa un pimiento. That's the mildest one. Very mild, yeah. Me importa un carajo. Uh-huh. Me importa... Una mierda. Me importa una mierda. Me importa un cojón. Me importa un cojón. Me importa, and then you can say, una puta mierda. Ajá. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, so, uh, and that's, you know, it's exactly honestly, the same when we say I don't give a shit. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And obviously, me importa una puta mierda is I don't give an effing shit. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even know whether I'm supposed to, uh, I'm allowed to say that in, in But in for English. example, you could say, um, tu vida me importa una mierda. Ah. Uh-huh. Instead of, tu vida no me importa. Ah, me importa una, una mierda. mierda. That's, okay. that's, that's what we tend to say. We tend to say, tu vida me importa una mierda. Ajá. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Instead yeah. of no me importa. Yeah, I, but it's the same feeling, yeah. yeah. Your, your life isn't worth shit to me. Basically, that's what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. No, it's worth shit. It's worth shit. Oh, uh, it's shit, yeah. Me importa yeah, una mierda. Shit. Well, you're okay. <laughs> what about this one? Eh, ser mono. Ay, qué mono. Es muy mono. O es muy cookie. Es um, como lindo. Lindo. Uh-huh. Es muy bonito. Mm-hmm. Something cute. nice. Cute. Cute. Sí, puedes decir, oh, qué niño más mono. What a cute boy. Do you ever make that into a diminutive and say, qué bonito? Or not? Qué bonito. No. 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 Ok. Um, All right. Ser un. Pijo, una pija. Un pijo, una pija es alguien que, que habla así, o sea, yo es que tengo mucho dinero y soy muy guay, o sea, así, es un pijo. Eh, con ropa de marca, tiene, habla así como si tuviera mucho dinero, eh, eso es uh, un pijo. And to start every, every sentence off with, o sea. O sea, o sea, o sea, o sea. Mm. Eh, es posh, ¿no? Posh, posh ya. Yeah. Posh and pretentious. Pretentious as well. Pretentious, sí. Ok. Ser la leche. Es, eh, ser la leche mm, can be positive mm-hmm. or can be negative. For example, obviously that depends on the tonality. But I can say, oh, Gordon, eres la leche. Muchas gracias por el regalo. Yeah? Sí. Again, it's like you're the dog's bollocks or you're great, you're amazing, you're fantastic. Yeah. It's lighter than the dog's bollocks. It's like, uh, okay, you're, well, you're, you're, you're super cool, you're, you're yeah. wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, but uh, it could be something bad, like, eres la leche, de verdad. Like, why have you done that? You are, I don't know. You're, you're unbelievable. Like, unbelievable. Something yeah. Like yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. Cynthia used it before when I went to saying que fuerte, tía. Que fuerte. Okay. There's uh, words that you can add on to things that are like guy, girl, mate. Yeah. And these are macho, tío, tía, tronco, tronca. Yeah. Yeah. I think macho uh, and tronco are more from the center of Spain. Like if you go to Murcia, they'll say acho. Like in other places, they'll say, and, or, or if you go to the south, in some places they'll say quillo. In other places, muyallo, like mm. in the Canary Mujallo. Islands, mm. um, like Tenerife. So depending on the area, they'll have one or, or another. But we all use tío. Tío. That's tía. the common one. Mm. But tronco, I think tronco is more like center of Spain. Yeah. Well. 
that's that's the so, feeling I, mean, I have. There's from. a guy who who delivers uh, stuff to us, and when we chat, he's always saying macho. It's que macho. Macho. macho, I like it. Macho, sí, macho. Macho. macho, I'm a macho, macho man. Okay, <laughs> right. So th- there's some um, slang. We've also touched on a little bit of swear words, but let's just run quickly through the key swear words. If you want to fit in in Spain, then you must be prepared to hear these. I'm not saying that you have to use these. Don't. What? Uh, just a little bit of psychology. Spanish people, when they swear, swear a lot. To use all of these words frequently but as a non-native when you start using them at the frequency that they do spanish people are horrified by the <laughs> <laughs> why are you using it why are you swearing so much you go but that's what everybody does no no but it sounds worse when you do it it okay? does it sounds worse when a foreigner uses them yeah yeah because it's like whoa no no we can do it okay. <laughs> but you can't <laughs> All right, but you must be prepared to hear them. So quickly, joder. Joder, joder. Well, it depends. Joder is, you know, it's such a nothing. really so nothing light. word. It's not like in in English. I mean, people say, oh, joder. No. No, joder no, no. could be frustration, like, oh, joder. Like shit, maybe. Yeah. yeah? But even milder than shit, I think. Uh, no, it's, it's one like, of those oh, ones joder. like blank and heck or, or yeah, flip yeah. and heck. It, it, oh, it, when you're angry, joder. But that's only in Spain, okay? This, these yes. swear words only apply to Spain. Okay, next one. I'm going to say this, I like it. Gilipollas. Gilipollas. It's un gilipollas. You can say gilipuertas, which is gilipuertas. the mi- milder version. Uh, but it's un gilipollas. That's a very standard word in, in Spain. Yeah, yeah. Which and is like a prat or prat, an idiot. dickhead. Dickhead, okay. Yeah, that's the one that gets mostly trans. Uh, but again, we can use that as... As a, um, as a nice thing. Uh-huh. I don't know if, if my sister, for example, for example, tells me something funny and I laugh and I go, que gilipollas. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not a criticism, it's like, what an idiot. No, how would you say that? I don't know. How would you say that like, in English or... You stupid You're such thing. A... You stupid thing. Okay. Something like that. It's, you it's, silly. Even it, light, lighter than yeah, that. Yeah, it's, it's not a criticism, but obviously it's it depends criticism, on the, the tone. All of this depends on the tone. You walk to somebody and go, Tu eres gilipollas. Then, then. Okay, then you're. Un te dan una hostia. Yeah. Okay, so, que cabrón. Que cabrón. Again, that could be bad, that could be good, that could be he's so lucky or she's so lucky. Well, cabrón. Uh-huh. Cabrona would be the female version. Que cabrón. Like, for example, I don't know. A guy manages to do something spectacular, and you can say, "Qué cabrón el tío." Mm-hmm. Como what a lucky bastard. Yeah. Yeah. Or well, let's add to that. You or, can also use exactly the same and say, "Qué hijo puta." Qué hijo puta. Yeah, but cabrón can also be a criticism, like "Qué cabrón eres." You're such a bad person. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Or it, it's actually translated in books as "bastard," but. Whatever. So it just depends. So again, oh. hijo de puta. There are two ways of saying it. Hijo de puta. Hijo de puta is definitely puta. an insult. Okay. Yeah. So, but if you take out the day, say hijo puta. Hijo puta. Mm-hmm. It can be light, can't it? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. We. I mean, we're gonna los cojones. We could enter into. We there love, could be a whole lesson on we cojones. We love los cojones. We love, 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 love that word. We use it for. Everything. Sí. Uh, so, for example. Estoy hasta los cojones. Uh-huh. It's like, I'm fed up. I'm up to here. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, it will be up to there. Yeah. Uh, but you can also have the the female version, which sounds a bit worse when yeah. you say it. just sound a bit, I don't know. But you could say, estoy hasta el C-O-N-E. How uh-huh. do you say that in English? <laughs> And yet, you can't, you can only say it in Spanish. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um, mm-hmm. O oh, estoy hasta la... La raja. raja. El chirimiri? Uh, no. no, estoy no. hasta el... Well, you could say el chichi, but... El chichi, uh-huh. but. Okay. The, okay. The other word is made up on. You don't ah, have okay. to say... Right. It's a made up word. Now, the up. same with this, you know, when a Spanish person says los cojones, right? so you, you, somebody wants them to do something, right? They don't want to do it. Los cojones. And los cojones 33, that's what we say. Okay. Los, cojones, los cojones 33. Okay. I don't know why we say 
this one is also um, uh, this one is used like such a lot a tomar por culo a tomar por, a toma, uh, yeah. a tomar por culo is also a very very standard sentence like F it all yeah like it's, it's uh, I'm going to do effort, this and yeah. F it yeah. yeah a tomar por culo so imagine imagine somebody just yeah. all kinds of stuff like somebody drops something Right, and it smashes into bits, and the Spanish person will go, ah, tomar por culo. Yeah, no. it could be, it could mean different things. Like, for example, it could mean to go far away as well. Uh -huh. Se fue a tomar por culo. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. so it means it went really far away. Uh, or, for example, if you, you you have to do something, but the process is really long, and you go, I'll just do this thing, and whatever, you know. Uh -huh. A tomar por culo. A tomar por culo. Say. Yeah, exactly. Um, or you, you, you've been waiting for an hour, you're not going to wait anymore, and you say, well, yeah, I don't want to put it. Yeah, it's like, like effort, yeah? Yeah, effort, yeah. For example. Okay. Okay, la hostia. La hostia. La hostia. Pff, again, honestly, it could be for something. So it is la days. hostia, which uh -huh. is good. It is la hostia, could be bad, the same as, uh, I think we've talked about that, no? La hostia or not? Is it la hostia? Before? Oh, yeah. No. Oh. La leche. Oh, la leche. Okay. Um, la hostia. When would if you, you say, say something? When, la hostia. Yeah. Oh, hostia. When would you say that? Uh, if somebody tells me something, uh, something that's happened, and it's like mega unbelievable, I can say la hostia. Like really? Mm -hmm. For example. Uh huh. Uh, very common. Okay, you're going to hear in on all in all angles in in yeah. all positions. Okay. Hostia is also another word that we use a lot, and we, we can combine it with other things. Yeah, and let's just finish with this one because it always it always creates a polemic. I don't know why. Puta madre. Okay. Puta madre. Puta de, madre. de puta madre. De, puta madre. Depends. Okay. It can it, it, so we've got various things. So de puta madre. De puta madre just means really good. Really good. Estoy de puta madre. Yeah. Este bar está de puta madre. Um, hay un ambiente de puta madre. It means effing good. Just in English, when you say effing good, it's still worse yeah. than in the, the Spanish version. Yeah, it's like, it, it is light. It is light. I mean, it's not light, light, I mean, it's light. It's not light, light, light. But, but it you would have to use it with friends, not obviously with. When you use that with Spanish boss, people, when I use it, they laugh, right? Because it, it's yeah. kind of one of those. It's light enough for them not to take like nothing. Why are you your English? You shouldn't be using it. It's like yeah. you know. It's it's like saying I am the dog's bollocks. Um, please, warning. Unless you absolutely control that and know exactly de puta madre estoy de puta madre, don't use it. Because it's because then because it happened to me once we're in a restaurant, the waitress came up and complained to me and said, Your your students are being extremely rude. What? It was a Spanish restaurant. Really? Yes. I don't because know. I the that. girl said, Is everything all right? She wasn't Spanish. The guy who was one of my students said, eh, Eres, eres, eres puta madre. That's what he, he, he said. It was something like, eres puta madre. She went into the the um, the kitchen and said to the Spanish chef, what is puta madre? And he said, well, bitch mother. So she said, that was it. Well, but that was uh, lost in translation. Absolutely. Uh, incident. But be careful. Be careful, okay? Because the, how else can we use puta madre? I, I mean, you could say... De PM. De PM. Yeah, and I you, do you, that sometimes. And you're saying that, but you're not, you know? Uh -huh. Esto está de PM. Uh -huh. Yeah? Uh -huh. And it saves you to say, it saves you the, the word puta. Sí. Um, but. But you hear su puta madre. Su puta madre. Yeah, for example, if somebody's insulting you and you can say back, tu puta madre. <laughs> So, su puta Cosa, madre is something completely different. Yeah, that would be literally your effing mother. Yeah, yeah. But uh, de puta madre is good. Yeah, it's good. It's, it's good. I mean, nothing but the... In Spain, obviously, if you go to Mexico and you say that, I don't know what kind of face <laughs> they're going to pull. Or if, I don't know, they're going to take offense, probably. Probably, absolutely, Probably. yeah. Or maybe, maybe not in Mexico because they, they swear a lot. 
But they, but they to Colombia have... or Guatemala when, where they don't swear that much mm. but they have their own swear words and the problem yeah. is when you bring your swear words yeah. it can they can sound really rough yes so yes. really if you want to swear always make sure you know the swear words you that know they you're use. proud yeah <laughs> you know if you you know in Mexico just slip a slip in a chingada and you'll be you'll be there with the boys yeah de la chingada sí. a madre por a madre no. eres una madre <laughs> madre en padre yeah. padre madre, really good I madre, think madre, really madre is bad yeah. madre, madre is bad. bad padre very good yes yeah. <laughs> a little bit chauvinist over there ok so that's your swear word but it's because of the history isn't it it's because of what the the, of what the queen did uh, with yeah, Cortés she got pregnant yeah yeah with the Spanish man so the story goes so the story so goes. the story goes yeah um, bueno. That's all the swearing we have. That's well, well I mean, we oh could, this we could be a, an hour and a half. The surface. I know. Of swearing could be an hour and a half. If you want to really understand Spanish swearing, come to Spain, live in Spain, and you will hear it uh, fully and completely in in every angle, in every street corner. Yeah. You know. And don't complain in the comments that we were swearing. And that it was rude because we did uh, warn you before. <laughs> that was so rude. Well, no. you shouldn't have clicked on the video <laughs> where he said swearing. I'll put it. Yeah. Swearing. No minus. No minus present. Yeah. Uh, no people. A lot of swearing, so they know. And pics. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. Now, just so you know, what's your word, favorite? Eh? What's your favorite swearing in? In Spanish. In Spanish, my favorite one. Yeah, the one that you like to use. Or the one you use. Mierda. Mierda. Oh, very mild, yeah. Yeah, but Mierda. you can you can okay. fit it in. You know, anything happens. Mierda. Vaya mierda. Vaya mierda. Vaya mierda. Muy bien. Yeah. What a, Pero what qué a... mierda es esta? <laughs> every one of the swear words, every one of the swear words, we could do a lesson just on that one word. <laughs> Particularly with cojones. Oh. With cojones, we could have we could have one lesson just on cojones. Just just, just on, on cojones. Yeah, I mean it's it's an adjective, it's a verb, it's a noun. It's you know, everything. It's a, yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> so just so you know, uh, recently we published um, one of Cynthia's uh, book clubs called El Principito. El Principito. Yeah. So that's now available in what's called Thinkific, which is what we use for our courses, our mini courses. Okay. So that's There's available. There's no swearing in El Principito. None. No. Disappointing, really. No swearing. Disappointing. <laughs> um, but uh, you can get that. You can either go to the website and look in the store and then look at the, the, the courses on the store that we've got and click on that, it'll take you to the page and you can see all the courses. We've actually got three courses at the moment. I'd say all the courses, yes. optimistic. But we soon we'll have another one. I'm working on the, um, the subjunctive for beginners and that'll be there as well, mm -hmm. yeah? So we'll just keep adding courses to them. So every now and again, check to see whether, whether anything new's come up. But if you like um, reading, if you want to follow along with Cynthia in the book club, all the, the lessons are there and the grammar and everything with the book El Principito, which is very popular in Spain. Very popular. Everybody talks about it. Entonces, eso es todo, chicos. Muchísimas gracias. Keep the suggestions coming in. Leave them in the comments or, or send an email to us, okay, with suggestions and we'll, we'll deal with them. Muy bien, Gordon. Vale. Pues... Nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Hasta luego. Adiós.